Muy buenas tardes, misionero Miguel Bermúdez Marín. Good afternoon. Y the misionero Miguel Bermúdez Marín. El reverendo Iván Sarmiento y todos los ministros. And the reverend Iván Sarmiento. All the ministers gathered Colombia, there in Soacha, también, Colombia. También a través del satélite Those who are also through, are also through the satellite Amazonas, so internet. En esta who are connected in this service. Que está llevando a cabo that uh, our Miguel Bermúdez Marín, brother Miguel Bermúdez Marín is carrying out. De octubre, the Saturday 29th este of October. 2022, of this year 2022. Este having this palabra, beautiful fellowship around Dios, the word of God. And everything that God is making known to us. Lo cual in this time son promesas, which are the promises y and the prophecies that had already been spoken and now we are seeing them fulfilled en in our midst y así and thus we are feeling with our own eyes, oídos, with our own hands, with our own ears, in all aspects, in all senses, we are feeling those promises being fulfilled in our midst. Soon we will feel the new body. This is also part of those promises, of those prophecies, that will be fulfilled in this end time. And as we see all those promises and prophecies being fulfilled, the more we understand and comprehend that everything that God promised through his prophets in the Old and the New Testament uh, was as God had already predestined and prophesied by his prophets for the Lord will do nothing except he reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets. God is a very ordinary God. And he has everything in order. And even everything that we ask our Heavenly Father, also in that part, he has the order to answer what a child of God asks. For instance, San Mateo capítulo 7 verso In Matthew 7, chapter 7 verse 7 al 12 to 12 Miren you notice lo que allí nos habla what it tells us dice pedid it says y os ask y se os dará and shall be given to you buscad seek y hallaréis and you shall find llamad knock y se os abrirá and it shall be opened unto todo you que el que pide for everyone that asketh receiveth, y el que busca, and he that seeketh haya, findeth, y el que llama, and to him that knocketh dirá, it shall be opened. Que si su hijo or le what pan, man le dará una piedra, is there of you, si whom if his son asks bread will he pues si give him a stone, or oh, if he asks a fish, Will he Cuanto give him a serpent? If ye, then being evil, know how to give pidan, good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, bíblico, pues which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? And there, in this Bible study, as I'm reading from uh, one of the Bible studies, he writes, HS, that is the Holy Spirit. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. And he writes, If God asks me, he has to answer by human mouth, which is by a prophet, then he has to have a prophet on earth anointed with the Holy Spirit. For that is God's way of answering his children. El tiempo en que sus hijos in the time in which his children le estén pidiendo are asking a él. him Vean eso. you notice También Dios tiene that un orden God also has an order to be carried out Lo cual which la iglesia como grupo the church as a group also has to be within that divine order. Because if God is an, a God of order, the church has to be also in order. In the book of Seals on page 536, it tells us 
aunque ellos no saben de cuál tribu they son. don't know whether they are from Benjamin or whether they are from Reuben or Isaac or where they are from but anyhow God calls them here now notice in Revelation 7 we read this 3,000 of each tribe of the elected out of all of it there is 12,000 out of each tribe that is elected and they are set right here in order oh my what are they they are in tribal order yet they are not now but they will be they are in tribal order what will be the tribal order now gathering Joe not the gathering Joe no but the ones that that's directed 144,000 will be in tribal order how I would like to show you we won't go into it but that's exactly what the church has to be aha right in order and then he writes in order the church has to be in its perfect order and he writes a question to what age do you belong notice that everything has an order for everything that God is going to carry out on this earth and that divine order is also for the Hebrew people who before the beginning of the great tribulation they will be called and sealed estaría haciendo ese ministerio en este tiempo final a favor del pueblo de Israel estaría llamando en este tiempo final a favor del pueblo de Israel estaría llamando en la 500 en la 453 del libro de los sellos en el libro de los sellos pero la pero viene la edad but the age is coming and he writes the eighth age that of the cornerstone pero viene la edad cuando habrá llegado el final para los gentiles But there comes, but the age is coming when the Gentiles will be done with. There's a tree, and the roots was Jewish, and it was cut off, and the Gentile was grafted in the wild olive tree, and it's bringing forth its fruit. Now, when that Gentile bride is cut off, that bride tree I talked about and is taken up in the presence of God, God will wipe off them and believing Gentiles over here to the side the sleeping virgin and graft again he promised to do it but until that time comes he writes the eighth day you just have to know where you are if you know where you are going well all right if you don't know why you are stumbling in darkness and he writes the roots were Jewish and the bright tree ends with Jews at the top. Now, that's when the Jews will be converted during that age, the eighth age. Where will these Jews be converted in the eighth age? Now, like the church age, under the power of the anointed promise, they will receive Christ, but now not while the Gentiles are in. And he writes seven ages. See, that that's not going to happen it didn't happen in the seven ages now we can see what kind of a message that the two prophets of Revelation chapter 11 will preach now you clearly can see exactly what they are going to do for the remnant of 144,000 predestined received the seal of God uh, the seal of God is received by 144,000 Let's just read 7th chapter. Now, this is the set, this, between 6th and 7th seal. After these things, uh, the 6th seal was, to, to let, was let loose, and that's the tribulation period. Everybody understand that now? Uh, Sixth seal was set loose, was let loose, and the tribulation was on. After this, what? After these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds on the earth, that it should not blow upon the earth, nor the sea, nor the nor any tree. There is another angel ascending from the east, having a seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the sea, the earth, and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, until we we have sealed the servants meaning until we seal the servants of God not the bride 
no servants, los hijos, not the sons, but Israel servants. Israel has always been good servants. The church is son, is Israel sons or children. See, by birth, Israel is his servant. Watch every place. It is always Abraham was his servant. We are not servants, we are children, sons and daughters. And I heard the number of them that were sealed, and they were sealed 144,000 of, of all the tribes of children of Israel. And above he writes, the bride, the children, Israel, the servants. And the Hebrew people will be receiving the one they, the one they are waiting for. Those will be in this time coming to seal them. And thus to fulfill that prophecy of Revelation chapter 7 which is a prophecy to be fulfilled in this end time in which he will also be working in the midst of his church and they will say this is the one we are waiting for and it tells us here in the, in the message, the book of quotations, page 38, paragraph 182, in the message, what shall I do with Jesus called Christ? This book is already open. That's right. Just waiting for the seventh seal to be identified of the coming of Christ. And Seventh seal equals the coming of the Lord. He puts points uh, Elijah and Moses. You notice how they will be seeing in the midst of the church of the Lord. They will be seeing the one they are looking for, which is the seventh seal for the church, who are Moses and Elijah who are those two olive trees that are represented in Zechariah chapter 4 and Revelation chapter 11, who are under the sixth seal. What is the seventh seal for the church? The coming of the Lord is the seventh seal is the seventh trumpet for Israel. In other words, all that which God was showing in the seals and also in the trumpets and everything that God was revealing through the Reverend William Branham and was opening the content of what was the coming of the Lord for the church and the coming of the the Lord for the Hebrews, he showed it there in the content of the coming of the Lord, but in the fulfillment of the coming of the Lord at the end time, at the end of the century, would be opened when that promise would be fulfilled here on earth. Because when they looked and said, but what is he doing among the Gentiles? You notice that promise was already being fulfilled in the midst of the Gentiles. Uh, as they noticed and saw what was happening, they were already seeing a journey, a trajectory. They were seeing it in the culminating part where it was already for the Hebrew people to receive the coming of the Lord with his angels which corresponded to that time and to seal them to go and seal them because that is what those ministries are for in that last work before the tribulation begins 
ellos dirán este es el que estamos esperando pero él no viene But por ellos él. él viene por they will say novia, this is the one we are waiting for no but he does not come for them he comes for his church bread because the church is the one that will be uh, ruptured because the 144,000 are going to stay they are to go through the tribulation it is not that he is going to forget about them no it is not that he is going to forget about them that it is that the 144,000 are servants of God, the servants of the church bride, who will be the eunuchs during the millennium and eternity. They are not going to go with us. Before the great tribulation, they are not going to go with us. They are going to stay here to go through the tribulation. So that is why he comes for his bride. He comes to pick her up. We read it recently in uh, some quotation that Brother Branham talks about el ángel le dijo que se casara when the angel told him con to Meda. marry Meda y en la parte donde dice and ve y recógela eso nos habla de rapto there this is the part o sea, that says go and get her en este tiempo final, and that speaks of a rapture en esa manifestación bajo carpa in other words God in this end time in that manifestation under the tent novia, would be pero antes taking de his church bride but before taking her she has to be prepared y lista and ready para poder to be vestida de ese cuerpo eterno uh, y endued with that eternal and glorified body to then go to the, the marriage supper of the Lamb. Es that is what nuestro, God is doing in our midst final. in this end time. La promesa, the promise pronto se cumplirá will soon be fulfilled. Pronto that prophecy will soon be fulfilled which is the transformation of our bodies. So let's be with our spiritual eyes wide open and let us be looking at everything that God is fulfilling and not only look, to look at it but to receive it and to believe it and to walk after the word the ark which is the one that will take us to that eternal and glorified body, that promised land of the new body. So, God is in this time, through His last manifestation, working in the midst of His church, uniting that bride, so that that bride is ready and prepared to obtain the faith of rapture, the faith of transformation, and thus take us to marriage supper of the Lamb. May God continue to bless you greatly, may God keep you, and stand firm, hold on to the word, to the message, to all this teaching under the tent, which is preparing us for those glorious prophetic events which are going to be fulfilled in this end time. Remember that the squeeze will be something where any difference that is missing will be corrected, there, will be, there it will be corrected. Anything that is still missing in the squeeze, it will be resolved. Let's not wait for the squeeze. Let us try to fix everything as soon as possible because a squeeze is coming and there let Him, let him who thinks he stands take Así heed lest he falls. No so, no matter se en how much they stand against divino, the divine program de la obra de and Dios, against the work of God, for you keep looking at the word. Porque because esa es una de las that is one of the greatest tests van a venir en este that final. are going to come in this end time as it was in the time of Jesus. La mirada the sight y and la punta afilada the sharp point y los and the sharp cannons were towards Jesus. Jesus. Porque el pastor y For I will smite the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. So there they left Jesus alone. 
Todo el mundo se fue. Everyone went, correr. went away, y ran away. Lo, lo negaron. And even some denied him. Y será algo muy duro. And it will be a very hard thing. Estarán entre la espada which will, y la pared. Which will be between a rock and a hard place. And the ministers remember pies. that they got their feet wet. Allá los sacerdotes. They are the priests. Cargando el arca. Carrying the ark. Llegaron a mojarse los pies. Got their feet wet. Algo bien duro. Something very hard no will come. Ni which we miedo, are not frightening or putting fear. But we have to be realistic. So that when it happens, we are aware that this has already been spoken and were events that occurred in the past times. Whenever there was a change of a dispensation, whenever there was a, a liberation of the people who were enslaved, always in those liberations, in those dispensational changes, the enemy has always tried to destroy the divine program and also in the past ages but more markedly in the, in the dispensational changes and all the elements and all the characters in this time the same thing is repeated but in an uh, updated scale which we see there and that is a teaching for us that if it happened in those dispensational changes there then it will also happen here but we have great news that God has already given us the great victory in love divine. God has already dictated the sentence of that squeeze, of that persecution which will later on become a persecution for them. But first it is a squeeze for us, persecution for all the foolish virgins and for the 144,000 Hebrews. But for us, he has already dictated that sentence that we shall overcome. We shall overcome and we are also told and we have been told that it is already a, a definitive victory. In other words, it is to say that we are, we are not going to go back down for that reason. And since the victory is already assured, I will no longer prepare myself. We have to prepare ourselves so that we are not taken by surprise by everything that will come against the church, against the leaders, against the ministers, and everything. The enemy trying to overthrow the work of God. But God has already told us that he has given us the victory. So let us be aware of all those things. Let us study everything that is in the messages of Brother Branham and the messages of our precious Brother William Santiago, the angel of the Lord Jesus Christ, the angel who has access to the book of truth. And there, with all that knowledge, we are strengthening ourselves, strengthening ourselves so that when that time comes, we will not, we will, we will know how to act, and thus avoid the mark, the seal of the beast. May God bless you, may God keep you, and tomorrow, early morning on Sunday, we will be together speaking about everything that God has for us to be spoken in that Bible study and also listening to the message, to the word of the angel of the Lord Jesus Christ, William Soto Santiago. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Brother Miguel, for allowing me to send this greeting to you all. And remember to keep everything well ordered in your lives and also in your congregations and everything in good order because God is a God of order and thus be prepared for our adoption and here Habló de, de eso. When he told us about that, colocarle we can put it, ese, we can put 
ese tema para that esta topic, pequeña plática vamos a conseguirlo sharing. aquí rapidito uh, let me see donde let me look for it very quick él nos habló del orden where he told us about the order de la iglesia of the church el orden aquí está el tema here is the topic cuando él dice en orden when he says order la he writes tiene que estar the church has to be in its perfect. perfect order y le colocamos esta pequeña plática el orden put it to this perfect. little sharing the church in its perfect order may God bless you and keep you and thank you very much for your kind attention thank you so much brother Miguel for this opportunity may God bless you greatly Miguel